Welcome back everyone. Uh, let's complete our application form now. So in the last video, we saw how to register ourselves for JE mains 2025 examination. In this video, we're going to see how to fill up the application form, all the details. So if you're a registered candidate, you need to fill the right hand side of this form. I've already put in my application number. I've put in my password. This is the same password that we created when we were registering and you sign in. Okay, so as soon as you sign in, you would be landing on this page. And the first step, which is the registration form, is already completed and we are going to start with application form now. You click on this button to start filling the application form. Now let's click on this complete application form. Okay, so first you fill in your personal details, then identity details, exams, uh, which center are you preferring, where do you want to give your exam, then your qualification details. So have these ready, okay? Uh, additional details, let's see what is there inside this. Emergency contact details, okay, documents upload and uh, final submission. So let's get started. Let's fill in the personal details. You click on this. You see some of the details are already taken from my registration. Uh, let's fill in the other details that are not, that were not filled the last time. So nationality, Indian. If you are an overseas citizen of India, you put in that. If you're Indian, just put in Indian. Okay. Uh, and the place where, or the state from where you passed your 12th examination, right? I uh, passed it from Charkhand, so I'll just put in that. Category, okay. So whatever category you are, or if you're seeking some reservation, you put in that category, okay? For now, we're going to go with general. Confirm category, again, the same category. Uh, confirm category, general. Uh, are you a person with disability? Uh, if you are a person with disability, then you put in uh, yes or no, depending on what is the percentage of disability? Remember that uh, uh, persons with disab disability, more than 40% are only eligible for reservations, okay? Uh, so yeah, you put in that. Are you a diabetic? Uh, no. No. And place of residence, is it an urban setting you are living in or a rural? So you can put in whatever is appropriate for you. Annual income. If you are seeking reservation based on family income, make sure it matches with, uh, so if you're seeking for uh, economically weaker section, right? So then you can't put eight lakhs and above and expect to get economically weaker section uh, uh, reservation, okay? So make sure you go through the document that we downloaded the last time. Anyway, whatever the case may be, you have to put in your correct uh, annual income. So we'll go with uh, the median somewhere around this. Okay. Mode of preparation. Uh, let's do self-study. Medium of schooling in qualifying examination. So did you study from a English medium, from an English medium school, a Hindi medium uh, school, or any other medium? You can put in those. Okay. Enter the CAPTCHA once again, 895Y2B. This is a case sensitive field. So make sure capital B, capital Y. All right. Uh, save and next, and then we'll be taken on to the next segment. We're done with the personal details. Now we are here, identity details. Okay, let me fill in my PAN card number here. Uh, you can choose in your Aadhaar number also, okay? Submit and move on. Okay, so now we've moved on to the third segment, exam and center details. So what are we applying for? Are we applying for paper one alone or are we applying for both paper one and paper two? 
So uh, for now, we'll be applying only for paper one. You can apply for BR can be planning as well. Uh, that's totally up to you. Session of examination. This is session one. Same process you are you'll have to do for session two also. But for now, we'll focus on session one. Question paper medium. There are only three options available. You can get question paper in English. You can get it in Hindi and you can get it in Urdu. Either of these three options. Okay. Right. So exam state choice. Father's occupation, I would say government service. Uh, graduate. Okay, let's try to fill in. Let's see if uh, we get this option later. Okay. Uh, we're not able to select anything here. So maybe uh, this opens up later. Save and next. Yes. Okay. All right, now I think uh, we would be required to select the state. Right, so we are done with our choices. Remember, they would look at your first choice and see if there is a seat available. I mean, if uh, uh, all the seats are not taken up by other candidates, they'll give you this option, okay? And most probably, uh, most of the people get their first choice of state itself. Uh, worst case scenario, you'll get the fourth one. Okay, since we're done with this, let's fill in the CAPTCHA once again and submit. Save and next. Do you want to submit this section? Yes, I do. Qualification details. Now, this is uh, where you fill in your qualification details. I'm just going to fill in some dummy details here. 2021, let me put, okay. Qualifying exam, 10th or equivalent, place of school, urban. What kind of school is it or was it? Let's see what are the options we have. It was private, unaided. State, we've already mentioned, Charkin. We'll fill in the other details now. ICSC, yeah, all right. So ICSC was at the last, if you are from CBSE board or IGCAC board, uh, you fill in the details accordingly. Result mode was percentage. If it's CGPA for you, you put in that 700 and we'll put here 600. So the percentage will be taken out automatically, okay? Uh, roll number X, Y, Z, English. College uh, pin code. So we'll fill in the 10th class details. Let's fill in the 12th class details now. <clears throat> are you an appearing candidate or a past candidate? If you are an appearing candidate, you put in appearing here qualifying exam would be cbsc senior secondary school examination conducted by national no the final examination of 10 plus 2 system conducted by any recognized central or state board such as cbsc uh, cisce etc so yeah this is the one we should be selecting. You can select any other if it fits you. Okay, so a diploma, if you've done diploma, you can select that. Again, urban. Total marks is 500 and obtain marks is 450. So the percentage would be calculated automatically and right with this, we'll save any. Uh, save and move on to the next step. Let's fill in all these details also. Interesting question they're asking here. 
no uh, that's not the case with me place of birth save this and move on to the next one next section emergency contact details phone code which is plus 91 would be entered based on which country you select here if you select pakistan it would be 92 but then you won't be able to give the exam um, you could select us then it would be uh, plus 1 uh, we can see that yeah okay here it is so if you select United States, then the code will automatically change to plus one. If you select India, uh, wait for it to update plus nine one. And here you don't have to give your mobile number. You have to give the contact number of the person who NTA should contact in case of emergency. All right, I received an OTP on the same mobile number that I entered. So make sure if you're entering your parents' mobile numbers, your parents' phones are there with you, or you can contact them and get the OTP. And one OTP might have gone to your email address also. Note that these two OTPs are different OTPs. The first OTP came on your mobile phone, the second OTP, uh, came on the email address this email address that you've just entered. Okay now verify and Next And then final is your document upload remember while uploading the photo it has to be named as photo.jpg So this is photo.jpg and this is going to be signature.jpg. So choose file photo.jpg would be this one. Minimize to fit in the box. Done. Upload. You'll have to click on the action to upload and then you'll get this prompt. Okay, it got uploaded successfully. Okay, I'm just uploading a random PDF as my class 10th certificate. Make sure you upload the proper certificate. Minimum size 10, maximum size 50. Choose five. Upload original. Right. When I was uh, reducing its size, its overall, the file size was also getting reduced when I was zooming it out. That's why it was not taking. Now, document upload section is done from my side. All the four files have been uploaded. You can click on these things to view if the uploaded file is correct or not. After you're done uploading and you've checked all your files, you fill in the capture and move on to the next section. So save and next. Right, please review the following before you do the final submit you can go to the respective sections from the left menu bar which is this side and make any changes if needed close and then do a final submit check it from the final file also all the things all the things and yes uh, you'll have to check all the boxes that my name is correct i've checked it father's name date of birth category uh, all the information about gender being a person with with or without disability uh, father's name mother's name educational details are all correct and then you agree and then you submit 
And this kind of completes the second step of your application form. And then you would have to complete the third step, which is the fee payment. I'm not going to do that. If you want to edit the application form, no, I don't. Uh, your email ID is yet to be verified. Click here to verify your email ID first. Before making the payment, you will have to verify your email ID. So you'll have to click on this button. Only then you would get a link to kind of make the fee payment. Okay. So to verify your email ID, you have to just put in your email ID and fill in this captcha. Submit and get OTP. This OTP will come on your email ID. And I have received an email, so I'll just check that. And then you verify. So this is verified and then now you can make the fee payment. Email ID is verified. We are being taken back to the home page. Now, see, now this is appearing, right? Pay examination fee of rupees 1000 and then you are done with this. Make sure you fill the application form on time. Do not wait for the last moment because the server is going to be down at that time. Many students would be accessing this website, so might be down, okay? Also, if you're not able to get to this page, you can use any VPN service, virtual private network, and that will help you.